Now we're going to go ahead and start creating the drawings that we're going to actually use on the CNC plasma cutter. These are not going to be your standard engineering and manufacturing drawings. These are going to be basically representations of each of these parts that will allow us to create an Adobe Illustrator file upon which we can load onto our TorchMate CNC plasma cutter. When we load those tor the Adobe Illustrator files on the TorchMate CNC machine, we'll create a tool path for the plasma cutter to run and actually cut out the parts using the Hypertherm PowerMax 85 plasma cutter we have. Now, to do this, it's probably best to go big first and then small to the end. So we'll start with our biggest part. So if we rotate our image around of our of our uh, of our cell phone uh, case, excuse me, cell phone uh, stand that we're making, we're going to go with our biggest parts first. So obviously that would be this part here, and then secondly it would be that part, and then third would be the two arrowheads as you see here. And then the third thing, the fourth thing would be obviously the base here and then the final part would be the little rest that you have your cell phone resting upon when it's in the standing position. The reason we go with the big parts first is because we want to actually um, go ahead and uh, arrange all the bigger parts first on our plate of steel and then put the smaller parts in to efficiently uh, space out our, our parts on the steel to maximize the use of our steel. So I'm going to go ahead right now and I'm going to do a right mouse click and I'm going to open that file of the particular plate, resting plate that's going to go out there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here once I've got that open and I'm going to create a drawing from the part assembly. I'll use my standard drawing template that comes with SolidWorks and it's going to open up this file. Now when it comes up we say a custom sheet. Now it always defaults to millimeters on the custom sheet size but I know that file is probably going to be adequate for what I need so I'm going to go ahead and say uh, 11 uh, double quote for inches and then I'm going to say 8.5 by 11 over here so 8.5 excuse me 8.5 over there and that should create me a drawing about the size of a sheet of paper. So when it does that, it comes up with this, you know, drag views onto sheet. We only need one view because we're going to cut this part out from the top down, or the front, as this case. So I'll drag this out here at this time, and I'll place this part, this part view, and then it'll come up and give me scales and all that kind of stuff and orientation and how I want to look at it. Well, right now it's saying the customs. It says it use parent scale of one inch equal two inch. Or excuse me, uh, an inch equals half an inch. So I'm going to go ahead and select custom scale, and I'm going to go one to one. Actually, I should have selected the part first. I'm going to go ahead and accept this. Come back, select that again. Scroll down. Use custom sheet to one to one on the scale size. Hit OK. Check that off. Now I'm going to probably need to scroll out and rotate this around. So I'm going to go ahead and use my arrow keys and drop it down. And I'll just move over to the left there a little bit. And I'll go ahead and click out of that. And I'll say File. I'm going to go ahead and save this file twice. I'll say File Save As. And what I'm going to do before I get too confused is I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder and I'm going to call this Plasma Drawings, P-L-A-S-M-A. You can do it any way you want. Um, I prefer to do it this way because it lets me delineate from all my construction model files and all that into one directory so I can always go back to that directory if I need to change something real quick and find a file that I'm ready to plasma cut out. So I've gone ahead and done that. Now I'm going to save it again and this time into the same directory which would be my plasma drawings and I'm going to save it as an Adobe Illustrator file. The TorchMate system that I use uh, allows me to save my files into Adobe Illustrator and there's the Adobe Illustrator format 
and it doesn't matter what version Torchmate's going to read it. So once that file is written out and saved, after this blue wheel quits spinning, I'm going to go back to my model. There we go. I'll go back to my model, as you see right here. And once I get there, I'll go and select the next part that I need to write out to an Adobe Illustrator file. And in that case, it'll be this one. Now one note of caution. We get a lot of files open in SOLIDWORKS, so you need to go back and start closing them out. But I'm going to go ahead and open this one up and start the process on it. And we'll do that for each and every file that we create. I'm going to go ahead and stop now. And as you just saw with the resting plate, you can do that for all of these just like the base plate here. Mm -hmm.